pure joy. I have titled this ministerial installation message as pure joy because that is Reverend Patty Mercado. I mean, just look at her. You'd all agree, yes? yes? Pure joy just naturally emanates out of her, radiates out of her like, like sunbeams. I've had the honor of knowing this amazing woman for about 21 years now, and from the first moment I met her, her radiance and joy shone through, and since then has not diminished one iota. I would suspect she was born that way. I don't know. I mean, can you just imagine that delivering doctor just down there? Here she is about to emerge. He's got to put on his glasses because she comes out so bright. <laughs> Radiant, pure joy. <sighs> In any case, I first met Miss Patty about 21 years ago as the youth director at our spiritual center. All three of my kids went through her youth program and they loved her. My granddaughter has gone through her program, and she loves her. In fact, all the kids that have gone through Miss Patty's youth program loved her and still do. She not only shared their youthful energy and enthusiasm with them, she listened to them. She really heard them, and they knew it. Kids always felt safe with Miss Patty. And I know mine at ages of 32 and 22 and 22 still do. Over the past 25 to 30 years, I can imagine she has touched the lives of hundreds or even thousands of kids and will always be held in the highest esteem by each parent of these children. You know, Mr. Rogers has nothing on her. Well, he is six feet under, but I would suspect they'd be neck and neck if you were still here. Patty and I started working together at our spiritual center around 2003. I was the bookkeeper and she the youth director. Our offices were actually in separate parts of the building, but we got to know each other rather well through our office interactions, um, our birthday celebrations, our meetings. But it was through our Adventure and Faith program that we got acquainted on a deeper level. And boy, I got to see her in action. <sighs> you may see this beautiful, radiant, and wise being that she is, but did you know that this girl can get things done? <laughs> and more importantly, she does it with love, with compassion, with patience, and of course, with pure joy. Her professional background prior to working at the church not only provided her with leadership expertise, it also helped her develop problem-solving skills and office savvy as well. On occasion when I'd go on vacation or was sick, Patty was able to hone in on my bookkeeping skills and responsibilities, and she did it really well, which is a very involved process. I often thought that there was nothing that Patty couldn't do. That is until she told me she couldn't sing. And maybe she can't carry a tune, I don't know. But when she sings, she sings with pure joy. So fast forward to 2009. Patty and I decided to take ministerial training at our center, along with 10 other practici practitioners taught by Dr. Heather Clark. We were known as Heather's 12 Disciples. <laughs> Mind you, we were 12 very fun and sometimes challenging disciples. And it was during this time that Patty and I really grew together and became as close or closer than sisters. Since I don't have any biological sisters myself, I really don't have anything to compare it to. But if I did, I expect it would be like this. During this time as students, not only did we spiritually learn and grow together, we laughed together, we cried together, we screamed together, and we Glen Ivied together. <laughs> Very necessary. And still today, through all of life's trials and tribulations, we still do this all together, but as ministerial colleagues, spiritual sisters, and besties. 
So earlier this year, as Reverend Patty received the call to move to the next level of her career and accept this position as senior minister of the Huntington Beach Center for Spiritual Living, of course there was a little bit of sadness for we would not be working side by side anymore. And I literally mean side by side, we shared office space. But the pride and joy I had for her and her new adventure, allowing her to share her gifts, her talents, her wisdom, and her pure joy with a new community of both grown-ups and kids washed away any sadness. And I was just thrilled to witness her stepping into the new life of which she was so deserving. Now all of you wise beings of her new spiritual community here at the Huntington Beach Center for Spiritual Living who chose this amazing woman as your senior minister get to be the proud recipients of this radiant and beautiful prize. You get to share in the pure joy that is Reverend Patty Mercado. You get to learn from her. You get to be inspired by her. You get to support her. And you get to allow her to continue growing into the best and most awesome senior minister she can be. And what a blessing it is for each of us here today, whether it be family, friends, colleagues, old and new spiritual communities, and all who are a part of her life, to stand witness to this wonderful occasion, one in which the ceremonial passing of the baton is celebrated at the Huntington Beach Center for Spiritual Living, one that has a rich history of great leaders, and now the newest one is stepping into power to continue this great legacy. I am so honored to be the one who gets to honor you, Reverend Patty, or as we call each other, Reverend Bestie. <laughs> you, as well as your entire family, are one of the greatest gifts to me and my family, as well as all who knows you. You seem to have this effect of making everyone you know feel like a part of your family. You seem to em truly embody oneness. And as Mark Nepo said, joy is the hum of oneness. So no wonder you exude pure joy. So congratulations, Reverend Patty, for this well-deserved honor. And congratulations, Huntington Beach Center for Spiritual Living, for receiving this most amazing gift. Thank you. <laughs> 